everybody, it's Ella Ty. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking that button. We have a nude lipstick video for dark skinned women. You guys know I did a video like this before, and a lot of people have been asking me, like, you know, what are your go to nudes? What do you do? Like, what's your favorite? Why do you like that color? So, I have given you my favorite lip combos for nude, um, for, um, for nude lipsticks for dark skinned women. So, please sit back, relax, comment, rate, and subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm literally giving you the tea. So, get your cup, because it's hot, okay? Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat. You clicked on the video, now let's just, let's watch it. So, right now, I literally have nothing on my lips. I have nothing. I have a full face of foundation on, highlight, contour, lashes, the works, but nothing on my lips. So normally when I want to do a nude lipstick, the first thing that I grab is my Chestnut Lip Pencil from MAC. This is very crucial when it comes to wearing nude lipsticks because I feel like a lot of us will grab like a night, we'll grab the perfect pink that has the brown undertone, which I'll get into in a second, but we don't grab a liner. And you're out here looking crazy. You know what you look like? You look like this. This is not a good look, okay? This doesn't work for anybody. And trust me, this is one of my favorite nude lipsticks, but without a liner, it looks crazy. So, I always say if you want to wear a nude lipstick, always make sure that you have a brown lip liner on hand. So, I'm going to basically talk to you guys about my favorite nude lipsticks, my combos, how I make it work. Because this right here, this is not working. This is not okay. This is not, this is not nude, okay? This is, this is a uh, hospice. This is on my deathbed. This is not okay, all right? So, the first thing you want to grab when you do your nude lipstick, oh, it's so aggressive. The first thing you want to grab when you grab your nude lipsticks is your brown lip liner. It could be from NYX, it could be from MAC. Mine happens to be from MAC. It's chestnut lip liner. So, whenever I do a nude lipstick, depending on what color I'm grabbing, I normally line my lips first. The reason why I line my lips first is because it kind of creates a nice little base for my lipstick to adhere to and on top of that it creates a nice gradient so the lipstick is not competing with my lip tone okay so I'm going to line my lips so I'm gonna take my chestnut lip liner and I'm just gonna start lining my lips okay so normally I overline my lips because I personally feel like I don't have that much top lip I feel like my top lip is like non-existent but that's just my opinion some people make people some people they don't like to line overline their lips I like to overline my lips so I'm taking chestnut and I'm going to line my lips so I usually start from one side and then I do the other side so these two lines meet then I do the bottom half this is what I do with nude lipsticks that I know are gonna kinda compete with my lip tone that are gonna kinda come up a little ashy so I know that if I'm going for a very, very light nude lipstick, I'm going to make sure that my brown lip liner is very prominent so I can create a nice base so it's not looking so ashy on my skin. So the first nude lipstick that I like to use for dark skinned women that's going to take some tailoring is Creme de Nude from MAC. So this lipstick is really, 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 really light. It's a very pale pink. Um, and normally whenever I do my, whenever I use this lips, lip color, I usually just put it in the middle. So when I do that, it looks more like a gradient and not so ashy looking on my lips. Just kind of bump it up a little bit. When I use Creme de Nude and Chestnut, I also grab, what lip gloss is this? obviously bare lip gloss so the, this lip gloss is really 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 light and it's like one of my favorites it has a very muted undertone to it almost beigey but wearing it by itself you look crazy as hell but like if you have the um brown lip liner with the lipstick in the middle and then i put this right in the center it looks really really nice so right there So that's lip combo number one. So that's basically chestnut lip liner, obviously bare lip gloss, and creme de nude all from MAC. And this is when I know that I want to kind of do something that has like a glossy pop that's not so overwhelming to my skin tone, that really just complements like a really bold smoky eye or really bold colorful eyeshadow look. Just so I know, okay, this right here is like my go-to. Okay, so now we're gonna get into lip combo number two. A lipstick I've been using for a very long time. It's like one of my favorites. It's called Bronx. It's from MAC. It is a muted purple. So it's basically like a, 
very like light purple um, it looks really great on dark skin women so normally when I wear this I don't line my lips first reason being because I want more definition I don't really want a gradient I want the color to show through so I'm just gonna put this on when I do this sometimes it can look really like you know Dave Chappelle <laughs> it can look real crazy but what I do after that is I take the chestnut lip liner every nude lipstick that I use will always have a brown lip liner regardless so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my lip liner and I'm just gonna kind of define out the lip so now the color that we're trying to focus on shows through more because it's not that much brown. It's more of the lipstick showing through and the liner complementing it so it frames the lip really nicely. It also has a nice transition from my skin tone to my lip tone. So this is from this is um, from MAC. It's Bronx lipstick with chestnut lip liner. And normally if I really want to bump it up a little bit, I will take, what is this called, Pleasure Principle. It is a shiny blue tone gloss. I put it only in the center. This is when I'm feeling real spicy, okay? When I'm feeling real spicy and I'm going on a date, this is this is a lipstick that I grab. These three, this this right here, this lip combo, chestnut, Bronx, and Preza Principle from Mac. This is when I'm feeling real spicy and I'm trying to look real cute across the table when I go on a date, okay? This is like my, my date night nude. So the other one that you saw was my everyday, sometimes depending if I'm feeling glossy nude. This is like my date night nude. Okay you guys, so now we're in our third lip combo. Still the same brown lip liner, still same. We're still using Chestnut from MAC. This lipstick is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's in the shade Ashton. And it is a orange undertone lipstick. So it's kind of like kind of sexy for MAC, but it's a little bit more orange, which really looks good on dark skin. When I first started wearing this, I was scared as hell. As you guys can see, I'm not lining my lips with the chestnut first. I'm putting the lipstick down first. So. I'm gonna go back in and I'm just gonna redefine out my bottom lip line and probably even touch up my top lip a little bit. Now normally, I wear this lipstick when I'm wearing my blonde wig. When I'm wearing my blonde wig and I want like something that's gonna kind of like complement the blonde hair, I wear this lipstick because it's really pretty. The orange undertone really makes the hair pop. It looks really natural. It's not overdone. It's not like a very abrasive nude. It's very, and it's matte. I never put gloss on this lip because I really like the color and I don't want to change it in any way. So this combination is Ashton lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC. Looks really pretty, especially if you're dark skin with blonde hair. This right here is like my go-to when I know I'm going blonde for the day. Right. So this now we're gonna do the. Um, now I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, lip, lip lipstick, honey. This is like one of my favorites too. It's very muted. It's very light. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys what that looks like. Uh, this lipstick has a beige undertone to it, in my opinion. Some people think it's like a pale pink and it's coming up pink on the camera but it does not look like this in real and in person. Don't know why. Going back in with the brown lip liner from MAC and Chestnut. I kind of want this one to be more of an ombre. So I'm going to bring the lip line up a little bit more. This is like one of my... I haven't worn this lipstick in a while because I haven't been able to find it. I literally had to go through all my makeup today to see what lipsticks I normally would wear if I had to like grab a nude. But this is the one I normally wear when I kind of like want to do like a very muted look. Like if I have like a very simple eye and I want this lip to kind of like complement a little bit. I know people think that like nudes look the same. They don't. Um, I think what make what all my nudes have in common is the brown lip liner. And I will never ever change my lip line. I'm sorry. I'll never change it. Um, I like a brown lip liner. If I could find a darker one that's a little bit darker than chestnut, I would, but I haven't been able to find one yet. But Honey is like a really pretty neutral pink. 
has like more of a beigey undertone to it. Um, you can actually ombre this lip very easily because it's such a, it takes a lightening really well in the middle. Um, but I'm not gonna add anything to it because I like to wear nude. But this is the second, this is the fourth lip combo. Wow, we're already four in. Uh, honey from Anastasia Beverly Hills really pretty with chestnut lip liner. So the next lip combo that we have is actually from the new Becca um, collection, the Best Friend collection that uh, Malika and uh, Chloe did together. It is a satin lipstick. It has like an orange undertone to it. It looks like Ashton, honestly, from Anastasia, but a little bit lighter and creamy. So I usually put these on without the liner. Like I said, these always smell so weird to me. It smells like medicine. It smells like an old medicine I used to take when I was a child. Okay, so going back in with chestnut, it's gonna really redefine out that lip. I'm actually gonna put on a lip gloss that's very close to it. This is from Becca. It's in the color Rose Quartz. And I like to put this on top. This lip right here, if you see me in the club wearing this lipstick, I'm not talking to nobody's son that night. I'm not talking to nobody. You know why? Because I'm feeling myself right now. Mm. I'm feeling myself right now with this lip. I am feeling myself right now with this lip. This right here, don't come up to me. This is me at brunch with my friends, drinking a mimosa, ignoring your text messages. This is what I look like right now. Yep, yeah, I like this lip. I like this lip a lot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, let me take this off. So this lipstick is from the, also from Becca. It's called Cupid's Kiss from the new collection they just launched. I really like this color because it has like a brown undertone to it. It reminds me of Velvet Teddy from MAC, um, but it's like creamy. So I'm not even going to line my lips. I want to kind of like, you know, just uh, define them out. So put this on, line, line it again. I like this lip. It kind of looks like the last one almost, but I like it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this new lip gloss that I got from MAC like probably like two weeks ago. It's, it's like one of my favorites. Um, it's called Best Teddy. So it's like the it's like the lip gloss equivalent to, Be um, to Velvet Teddy. And I'm just going to put this all over. This is my argument lip. This is if I'm talking to somebody's son, we're in a relationship, and I'm mad, and I pull up my lip gloss, and I just start, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And what you said last time was, mm-hmm, this is what that is, mm-hmm. This is my argument lip, right here, right here, all nudes, all day, okay? But I really like this. There's like a lot of uh, lipsticks that I'm looking at that I laid out that I haven't worn in such a long time. The, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, this is a let me go through your phone kind of moment. Ah! I got too much going on right now. Let me stop. I don't go through people's phones. It's not what I do. This is my, I feel very confrontational wearing this lip. I don't know why. I don't, I don't even know. Let me tell you something. If you don't feel like you want to argue with somebody's son after putting his lip on, then you put it on wrong, okay? You put it on all the way wrong. This lip right here is just giving me, is just giving me fierceness. I got an attitude now. Now I want to block your number and never call you again. I don't even know why. I'm not even talking to nobody's son, but I want to argue with somebody now. I want to argue with somebody right now. I don't know. I'm about to call my sister. Did you have my shirt on in that picture? Hmm? Is that my shirt? Let me see. Let me see the tag. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. 